Hello, my name is Kieran Dale, and in this show we do, in a series of videos to come, I'm going to be introducing you to the wonderful world of WX Python, my personal favourite tool or library for uh, programming graphical user interfaces in Python, and fast becoming a standard for that. Uh, it is, of course, completely cross-platform, so it shouldn't matter what uh, platform you're learning this on. So first things first, I'm adapting this quite heavily from the WX Python's uh, wiki getting started uh, page, which you can, the address of which you can see just here. And um, the contributors are listed at the bottom, and we'll go through them. The WX Python community, obviously. Lucas Bruand, who I think is the chief contributor to all of this. Rob Cake Bread, Charlie Durr, Robin Dunn, Michael Roberts. Eric Westra. There's also these other contributors. Which I can just center there. So without them this wouldn't have been possible. So without further ado, I'm going to uh, give you a taste of the power of WX Python and uh, show you a minimal application in about five lines, which to anyone coming to Python from a, a language such as C++ will be uh, an eye-opener, I think. So we'll just minimize that window and we'll start up our trusty idle um, editor which comes with the Python package here, Python 2.4. So we'll open this. There we go. Now we're inside our idle with our interpreter running, but we're going to open a new window. Now it's untitled. We're going to save this as a Python uh, document so that we'll get the full syntax, um, auto syntaxing from uh, the idle GUI. So we'll do save as. This is a here for some reason. We'll go to programming, Python examples, and we'll call it hello world. Yeah, we'll just replace that. So, I'll maximize that. Here we are inside our Python editor. And the first thing we're going to do is, which you'll find yourself doing for all your, Python, your WX Python applications, is to import WX. This imports the full WX library, which is the classes and functions and the rest that make up WX Python. We now are going to create an application object. So wx dot we prefix all of our uh, class uh, calls and the rest of it in wx python with wx um, and we're going to create a wx simple app like so. Now we've created our app we want a frame inside it. I'll go through it quickly at the moment and in a minute we'll go through the details. wx dot frame open none comma minus one. Now this is our title which is going to appear on the uh, frame, the window frame that will appear. We'll call it hello world conventional and now we want to show the frame so we call the function show on our frame object and we give it the value of 1. And now we want to send the app into a main loop within which all the event handling and the rest of it will be handled. So that is our uh, first simple five line uh, WX Python program and we'll save this. Control save. And now we can see what it does. So we'll choose run module. We can also do that with uh, the function 5 button. Um, and there we go. We have a hello world box with our title. We have the standard minimize, maximize oops, ability. And we can also exit on X. This, uh, as you can see, this looks like a Windows box. One of the beauties of WX Python is that if you were programming this from 
Macintosh or Linux, you would find that uh, the look, the feel, the skin uh, is specific to your particular operating system. So we'll just close that and go back. So you can see what you can do in five little lines. Now let's uh, go through this a little bit more. I rushed through it earlier. First, we imported our WX library, this is what you'll do normally. This means that when we want to call WX um, classes or uh, functions, we need to prepend them with WX dot um, for whatever we're calling. Uh, we created our application, which is a PySimple app. Now, a PySimple app has been created just for you to take away all of the hassle of creating uh, WX apps. It's essentially a very simple WX app. It's subclassed from, from that and it handles initialization of the graphics uh, handlers and, and various other things so you don't have to worry about it. We'll be using this throughout the uh, series of videos. We also have then we create our frame, so our frame variable. Now let's deal with this frame call in detail because this actually follows a, uh, a pattern that you'll be finding throughout um, your WX Python usage. The first parameter here says none. That's actually a parent parameter. So obviously here we don't have a parent to pass into it. But let's say you had a frame which uh, itself had parent frames. Then you would want to pass into them a reference to this frame. So you would pass a self uh, in this case. Um, if you're in the class rather, which you're not. Um, so that's none. Uh, here we have minus one. This is uh, an ID, an identity uh, parameter. If we give it minus one, the machine, um, the computer will assign um, a, a random identity to it. Um, we then have our third parameter, hello world, which uh, gives a um, title to the window. Frame show, as we said, what allows it to be shown. And then app, this is the, you'll call this three, in all your WX Python programs, sends it into a main loop. At this point, the program is running.